Alright, what's up everybody? Rocky Lord here, and uh, welcome to my playthrough of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Now, I remember when this first came out and everybody thought that it was an April Fool's joke, because I believe this was announced on uh, April Fool's Day. So everybody thought it was just a joke, you know, funny, haha, Ubisoft, good job, you got us going there for a second. But no, it turns out this is an actual thing. And, um... Uh, I never got around to actually purchasing it, mainly because I couldn't afford to. But uh, since I upgraded my processor recently, it actually came with a free download code for it, so I thought, what the hell? You know, it, it's been about a year since I played Far Cry 3, which I really enjoyed. So why not give this a shot? I've heard good things about it as well. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started. Nice, very basic intro screen here. And uh, I have seen the beginning of the game, you know, for testing and all that stuff, it's very much like an, well, you'll see it for yourself, it's, it's so 80s, it's awesome, so we'll go to campaign, yeah, continue is pretty much just the tutorial area, just to test the recording and stuff, so we'll go to new game, yep, overwrite save one, because I don't care about it, and here's the thing, definitely not going easy, but do I want to deal with hard? Do I want to? I don't know, man. Screw it. We're going hard. I like the loading. <laughs> I wonder how many people don't even understand what tracking is or why you do it. That just makes me feel old. Oh yes! Enemies in range can be shot. Some pro tip right there. Space. Earth. Stars. In the near future. At the end of the 20th century. Death. Nuclear war has engulfed the planet. From the radioactive ashes of North America, a new breed of soldier is reborn. Oh, damn. Here we go. It's a million dollar man. Main cortex online. Theta waves at four pulses and rising. 4.6 now. It's working. Induce delta. Keep them under 0 0.5 pulses. Machine, but all cyber commando. Wake you, wake you, motherfucker. Op says there's a delay in the feed. They need to recalibrate your ass. Me? Well, it ain't me, because I'm goddamn near perfect. Men want to be me. And you want to be with men. Yeah, I got it. We're coming up on our target. Bribe patch orders downloaded. Mission parameters. Penetrate enemy bunker and download intel on enemy operation. Full lethal sanction enabled. 
Opposition is Black Sector Threat. Repeat, Black Sector Threat. Geneva Convention restrictions lifted. Lieutenant, just who the hell are we taking down? Couldn't tell you, Sergeant. We're Black Sector. That could only mean a handful of outfits. All of bad news, Spider. Alert. Alert. Light arm scanet detected. Helix room 7-3 is no longer on stealth vector. Evasive, evasive, evasive. Evasive? Does that mean what I think it means? <laughs> Just like that thing in Central America. I'm gonna have me some fun. Oh shit. Oh god. Opening the game with the turret sequence. I hope they were being ironic with this. <laughs> I actually am not a fan of turret sequences. I think I mentioned this during my uh, Far Cry 3 playthrough. But you know what? I think in this case I'll give it a pass. We got some badass copyrighted music going on right now. Pretty sure that's going to cause me some problems, but you know what? Doesn't matter, because look at all the stuff we can blow up. Yes! Blow up that thing, and that thing, and that, why not? And you. And that chopper. Kill it! Yes! Lovely. Shut us down, now! Proceeding to coordinates. I gotta do my shit. I'll find the bunker entrance. And I'll provide the distraction. Let's show them how cyber commandos get it done. Mark Force style, motherfucker! Now that's a, an 80s intro for you right there. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, like I said, it's been a while since I played Far Cry 3. Definitely looking forward to it. Acknowledged. Loading basic tutorial batch 101 from Military Navigation for Idiots. Auto holstering weapons for silent approach. Oh, you fucking asshole. Now have fun. God damn it, Spider. Press enter to demonstrate your ability to read. Yeah, sure. Ah, for fuck's sake. Jump, if you wish to jump. Pressing space enables you to move in a in a Z-axis arc without touching the ground in between. Oh, damn. Some next-gen shit. I hate you. Crouch to go lower. Left control crouch activates your quad <laughs> quadriceps and challenges your sense of balance. Just let me kill people, damn it. To look around, look around. Ah, mouse to look around engages one of your five senses vital to navigation. Of course. This is not cool. Moving allows you to go in many exciting directions. W sad. Although I usually just say W A S D, but whatever. To walk, which is focusing on slowing down your pace from run to something significantly slower. Indeed. Why? Running is like walking, only faster. <laughs> Left shift activates your primary supporting and auxiliary muscles to help you accelerate speed. Absolutely. Are these tutorials getting in the way of your mayhem? Yes. Nice. Here we go. Perform a blade takedown when sneaking up to an enemy. When you're undetected, enemies cannot see you, allowing you to kill nearby enemies from behind by pressing F. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Tag enemies to track them more easily. Tag by engaging your ocular sense and zooming over a target until it's highlighted. I believe that's Z, yep.
There we go. Sweet. I can pilfer. There we go. Yeah. Rip out his heart. Distract unsuspecting enemies with your D20. Nerd. Dice date back to over 5,000 years ago with the D6. Throw your dice by pressing T to distract enemies. Uh-oh. Oh, good. Lovely. Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon has stopped working. Oh, my God. This is this is off to a rockin' start. I gotta play that intro again to get back to up up to where I was. <sighs> All right, hold on a second, guys. I will rip out your heart. Distract unsuspecting enemies with your D20, nerd. Okay, here we go. We're back. Dice date back to over five thousand years ago with the D6. Throw your dice by pressing T. Yes. I was going to say before that instead of a rock this time, it's a, it's a die. There we go. Take him down. Spider, these guys are a mega force. I got a bad feeling about this. I got your back, bro. You all soul, brother. Right. Okay. So apparently, I did a little looking up, and apparently, uh. There's quite a few people out there who have been having issues with this game. So I'm currently running it in uh, DirectX 9 mode instead of DirectX 11. Even though my PC is more than capable of handling it. After a blade I mean... Takedown, you can chain kill nearby enemies. After a takedown, press WASD toward another enemy for a chained takedown. But yeah, I mean, I can play this game on absolute maximum settings on DirectX 11 and my frame rate is like still super high but I don't know I'm hoping that changing it to DirectX 9 will okay. do something we'll have to see right let's do a chain here chain and chain nice damn straight let's go ahead and rip out all their hearts I don't know what I don't know what these, these cyber hearts are for. But apparently they're a thing. So why not? Why not grab them? I got some money too. I wonder if I can stealth my way through this entire game. That would be cool. Climb to get higher. Seriously? Seriously. Loading more training hints from the ABCs of war. <laughs> the detection meter appears when enemies can see you. It fills up as enemies begin to detect you. They will flash when you have been detected. Yep, very much like the original game. Press left click to shoot your weapon. Right to aim down sights. Different weapons have different firing types that can be modified with attachments. Aiming down the side of your weapon zooms your view and gives you more precision. Indeed it does. These, tuto these tutorials are brought to you by Kobayashi Cyborg Lubricant, lubricating your future. Use objects environments cover. Press middle click to throw a grenade. You can hold middle click to cook the grenade and then release to throw it. Filtering, walking over bodies automatically lose ammo. For credits, you must search the bodies. Tired of tutorials? Upgrade now to Kobayashi Tutorial Premium and let us play the game for you. Yeah, this sounds pretty cool actually. Oh god. Press and hold 1 to access the weapon wheel, which isn't a real wheel used in navigating vehicles, but a metaphoric one, indeed. Hold Q to use nanomeds when injured. Oh my god. Cyber points. Now shooting bad guys is more fun than ever with cyber points. Earn cyber points by killing enemies, completing objectives, and stealing collectibles that don't belong to you. Level to learn skills and become a bigger, badder cyber commando with cyber points. Annoying? Press enter to make these patronizing screens go away. I fucking hate tutorials. And this one is terrible. <laughs> nice. I like a game that can make fun of After itself. A blade takedown, you can shuriken a nearby enemy. Oh can I? Oh god, they're back. Left click to kill a second enemy in sight after initiating a takedown with shurikens. A word synonymous with ninjas. Let's give it a shot. Boom. Suggestion: Deactivate alarms to avoid enemy reinforcements. 
That is a handy suggestion. I think I might take you up on that. I didn't rip out his heart. It's kind of disappointing. Don't let them trigger the alarms. So, let's see the weapon wheel. When the meter fills, the enemy can see you. Oh god, that was not a good place to do that. Let's take a look at what I have. Looks like I have a fair array of things. Like, I'm... I can't select that that one. What is that? C4 zero, 00. Oh, I see how you select it. You just move the mouse in that direction. I thought it was like well, I guess I can cycle through them as well, but it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird the way it works. All right, so we got a vehicle that's doing rounds. So we'll have to go ahead and avoid that. I don't want to go climbing on stuff. I tried to be as stealthy as possible. Oh, that was close. Yes, be stealthy as possible, but get spotted immediately. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's be careful now. I would like to shoot him, but I don't think this weapon is silenced. Yeah, he's gonna see me. Gotta move quick. What the hell? F flips people off. That's cool. I w was actually testing that to see if I had like a flashlight or something, but... I don't. <laughs> Fuck you. Hold E to disable that shit. Leave no enemies functioning, huh? Alright. So in which case... Oh, that was bad. Boom, right in the face. Come on, buddy. Yes. I hear more dude. Oh, we got some more dudes coming. Right, so they all think I'm over there. Hello. Oh, yeah. Someone by the car. Nope, no you don't. There's somebody else over here, I think. Where? Oh. Up there. Oh, yeah. Way to die on a job, dick shitter. <laughs> oh god. Nope, saw you coming, buddy. Yes. Kill the people trying to save lives. I heard another dude. In fact, I'm hearing a lot of dudes. There's no one in the general vicinity, so let's go ahead and rip all these hearts out. Come to daddy. But, uh, oh, we can go up to the top of the tower. But not yet. Pilfer. Still not sure what these hearts are for, but. Could be something upgrade related. Could be upgraded related, maybe. This is a very colorful game.
New skill, health bar plus. Oh. Alright, let's check it out. Level 1. Whenever you level, you can either learn, earn skills or an additional health slot. By default, a Mark IV soldier is... Level 1, able to breathe underwater infant indefinitely, thanks to his cyber lungs. Able to sprint faster. Able to resist all damage from falling from any height. Oh, really? That's interesting. Able to perform regular takedowns, sure can take down chain takedowns. Okay. Level 2. Get an additional health slot, so I... I guess I just get that automatically? Level 3 is quick swap, huh? Bring up iron sights more quickly and switch weapons faster. Interesting. I don't want to look forward too much, because I'd rather just find out as I get, you know, stuff. Uh, let's see. Skills, oh no, it's just... Yeah, it's just a list of things that you can get. Alright, fair enough. So you don't actually, uh, like, assign skills or anything. It's fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Running low on ammo for this, though. Oh, I can't pill for you. Out of curiosity, I want to see what's up in that tower. So let's have a look. I don't know if, like, like in Far Cry 3, there were chests that you can find and stuff. I don't know if it works the same way. There are secret chests around. Heartbroken. <laughs> I get it. Actually, I'm curious. What are these cyber hearts for? Like, will this tell me? Research data. Collectibles? Television sets, notes, VHS tapes, and animals. Let's see. Anything about the cyber hearts? I want to know. Collectibles items. Nope. Dragon cyber heart. Blood dragons are attracted to cyber heart, cyborg hearts. Harvest the cyber heart from a dead Omega Force soldier and use it to draw the dragon away. Cyber hearts are thrown with G. Okay. Apparently dragons are a thing. I actually did not know that. Blood dragons are attracted to sounds. Oh. Alright. There are dragons in this game. I was I was not aware of that. There's nobody slinking around on the rooftops, huh? Nope. All right. Let's go down. Oh yeah. All right, I only got seven bullets left. Oh, I didn't kill for these guys. Oh my god, it's. It's just like Far Cry 3. It's just as picky as to where you're looking. It's like you gotta be right up on him. Another broken heart. 16 cyber hearts. Pretty damn common. Oh, hi. Objective complete. Briar Patch, why didn't you tell us this was Omega Force? They were Omega Force. Now Sloan's gone rogue, and we need to know why. Penetrate the bunker and download the data from the mainframe. Will do. This is Sloan. Colonel Ike Sloan. I served under him too, Spider. No way he went rogue. Not him. You ready to put a bullet in the big man? Let's just get to the mainframe and figure out what the hell is going on. Let's have a little look around first. What the hell?
It's like a blue arrow right here. Well, considering, considering enemies are red arrows, that's probably not a big deal. Wait a minute. Steal them credits. Oh, wait, I have to hold E. There we go. I didn't get to look at what that, uh, that crate gave me. I was too busy focusing on the money. I assume it gave me money. Oh, wait a minute. Crates show up on the, uh, the map. The little mini-map, apparently. I think these ones are below ground, though. Wait, there's more... Blue triangles over there. Can I go up in this tower? Have a little look down? Let's take a look, see what they are. Maybe they're enemies that haven't been... alerted to my presence. Explosive thing there. Oh, it's already been exploded. Well, there's nothing up here. All right, let's let's actually go to the objective, shall we? I've dawdled enough. God, that gun goes right in your face every time. Let's uh. Let's switch to that one. The Phaser Tron. Assault rifle SMG type thing. Alright, let's do it. Nothing around here. Eliminate all Omega Force soldiers while protecting Spider. Spider? It's Spider. Oh damn. Here we go. All right, this room's clear. Let's see if I can get a takedown on this dude. You can chain kill nearby enemies. Let's do it. Detecting heavily armored cyber soldiers. Use heavy ordnance. It's a mega force, all right. Oh damn! Nope. Stop holding on to him. Ah, uh, let's get out. I'm trying to run. I can't run while healing. Oh god. Take him out, spider. Oh, don't. Uh. Oh, yeah. I can run while healing. I was just crouched. Oh, Jesus. I'm running uh, low on healing goodies. Let's. This dude hurts. Jesus Christ. This dude's crazy. I hope you have good stuff. Cyberheart and 27 bucks. What are they building here? I mean, that's a high speed heterodyne 8,000 assembly. Oh, yeah, indeed. They killed all the goddamn factory jobs in Detroit. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice. Use the catwalk to quietly position yourself above the enemy before dropping down on them. The catwalk, huh? Oh, refill ammo? Nice. Let's uh let's get that sniper rifle back on. I very much enjoy this. Spider's still good on health. Let's hop up here. 